You excited? Let's meet her. Let's meet the stage. You can do it. Up, no, you can do it. I know, you do it. How's it going? Sorry. How's it going? Good. 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 How's your day been? Oh, a little bit quiet. A little bit quiet. Okay. Yeah. Bring the winter tonight, coming out to see us. We're very thankful. Well, that's all right. <laughs> now, uh, for those in the audience that don't know us, know you, tell us, tell us a little bit about the cell. Uh, now, obviously, uh, you're a headliner at from Lay Girls, so uh, well, the very famous Lay Girls. Um, you're definitely one of the ones that paved the path for us, and uh, and I guess really set the scene. So, um, tell us a little bit about Lay Girls. Well, uh, I started there in 1972. Right. Wow. 1996. Oh wow. So. That's a, that's a good innings. Yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. When yeah. I get a job, I normally stick to it. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Not like us Gen Y. We're, we're <laughs> there for a month and we're like, oh, this is shit. <laughs> Everywhere, Everywhere like, and everywhere. Yeah, yeah. we'll be still lucky to do this, be doing this job in a month's time. <laughs> it's true. It's I've true. toured Australia and all that information. So how was that experience? Oh, it was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So and what, what were the crowds like in the, the 70s and 80s? Oh, they loved it because there wasn't anything like it. Yeah, still isn't really. There was no Oxford Street or anything like that. True. Because the Oxford, Oxford Street really came alive at the mid 80s, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. With the, uh, some of the old clubs. Actually, the ship was one of the, probably one of the only clubs that are still around that was open. Yes, I think it is, yes. There was Capriccio's, of course. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> That's before my day, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so. Is the old? Yep. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. She's been around for a while. <laughs> she looks it. She's showing her age, right? Well, she's showing something. <laughs> oh, Lisa, Lisa boobs are away tonight. Sometimes yeah. she does show a little bit of tits. Really? So, uh, it's winter, I've got to cover up. Oh, I, I, I do have to cover up. Oh, yeah. You will uh, good to know she's going in for a face lift. Oh, massive. Massive oh. Massive, massive really? remodel. Yeah. I know a lot of people have had that done. <laughs> <laughs> I think our boss has, hasn't she? Yeah, she's yeah. had plenty of facelifts. She's yeah. had a lot of remodeling going on. <laughs> hey, uh, now, obviously all those years performing, uh, you would have done some fantastic numbers, uh, and I'm sure there would have been some crowds where you just like wanted to pull your teeth out because they were, you know, bad. But uh, the good with the bad, what was one of your favourite uh, songs that you used to perform? Well, we didn't actually just perform songs. It was a review of the whole show. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was like a mini Las Vegas. You know, okay. Yeah. Jits and feathers and. Yeah. Okay. So any any standout favourites? Oh no, not straight off my tongue. So <laughs> no, no, no. They're all good. <laughs> and, and what about, yeah, they were good. Yeah. yeah. What, what about the guys who used to come to the shows? What about any them? interesting stories that you'd like to share with us about? Oh, I don't you know, know. Some of the backstage acting. Oh, I'm not backstage, so I'm not <laughs> in front of us. It'll happen on stage. Oh, it'll happen on the stage. No, nothing just happened on stage, no. That would work. Work, yeah. work, work. What about any, any famous names that pass through? I imagine through Lay Girls there would have been quite a few famous people come through and watch the shows. Sure, yeah. yeah. Any uh, any standout people there? Oh, from people from Margo Fontaine to Beth Midler to Cher to... Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. When the big stars used to come to town and, and play at the Silver Spade or the Chevron Hotel, yeah. it was a must to go to Lake Elvis. Oh, and who was your favourite celebrity that you got to meet? Um, Apart from what? The one that kept coming back, I think, would have been Danny LaRue. He kept coming back. Oh, um, oh really? Every time we toured, and he was here for you know, three months or something, so he'd be up every, every weekend. Wow! And we'd go around to the Burden and Beat in Darling Hurst Road. Drink to the wee hours. Yeah, to the wee hours. Back in the fun days when you could do that. And then to the taxi club. Oh, yeah. Mama, the good old taxi club. Oh, was that before your time, Joel? It definitely was before my time. Wow. You've been in Sydney for two years. Yeah. You would have laughed. Oh. Would it be good? Yeah. 
Taxi Club was amazing. I've done uh, sh several gigs at the Taxi Club. I, I love performing there. I never saw you up there. I've done a couple of shows. I don't get to do too many because it's so hard to, to stage a puppet. But I'm uh, ass. <laughs> lots of fun at Taxi Club. It's very hard to get your hand up anyone fast. These well, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sleep now, is not what it used to be. There's been a lot of changes, obviously, of late. Um, obviously, you know, the scene itself has changed. But looking at drag, you know, how do you think drag sort of transformed or changed from the days of Legos to what it is now? Oh, I think they've really advanced and they're, you know, they're stuck with the time, so to speak. Yeah. Um, where else could they go? Mm -hmm. only, only ways up. Well, that's a song, isn't it? Yes, but, but <laughs> well, you know, they can only go so far and then I suppose they'll go back to what we were doing. I hope so, because so, that's what Oxford Street miss, is missing. The good old feathers and camp numbers. Yes. Yeah. The feathers make an appearance every now and then, but well, they do. I mean, I've heard so many stories about Legos and I've seen videos and things, and you know what I'd love to see? I'd love to see it see it come, you know, make a comeback. Do you think it would be a good thing to bring Legos back, you know, reinvent it back onto the sea? I think it'd cost too much money. Yeah. Was it an expensive show back then to produce? Of course it was, yeah. yeah. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. Well, I guess back then there was, you know, there was no internet, so crowds actually came out to see of some course. shows. Yes, like, they had no choice. They had to come to see us. We didn't go to them. Yeah. Ooh, I love Lego. Girls. It was so much fun to watch. Yeah? Way too much fun. What was one of your favourite memories of Lego? Oh, too many. Just too the, many. Whole, the whole experience, the whole night was just... From start to finish, when you were on the, on the floor in large, just enjoying the whole night. It was so much fun. So much entertainment. Now, the, well, the main, the main thing I bought that I sort of got introduced into Lego Girls was obviously through Carlotta, through the movie. Oh, yeah. Um, now, do you... How, what did you think of the movie? Do you think it did it justice to the, the days of Lake Girls as well? No. No? Oh. We never rehearsed the way they did. <laughs> they made it look all too professional. It was just... We just wouldn't have rehearsed like that. That's okay. the way it was done. And they, we never had, you know, six feathers out of our ass. We had 60 feathers out of our ass. Okay. <laughs> Carol, I've got a video uh, lined up of, of a comedy routine you, you did with, with, sorry, with, with Carol. Let's oh, have, yeah. Let's have, Travis, can we put it on? Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we like to take you over to a hotel for the rich and famous of the Dynasty set. Thank you. 
man in charge of Oh, really? Fantastic. He's a goer, isn't he? Oh, not only that, darling, he's fantastic. He's looked like a star in ride, you like a jockey. <laughs> well, always said he looked like a bloody horse. <laughs> I haven't had a bit by mouth for ages. Yeah, but you've been saddled a few times. Have you tried to say your husband's sex is the mine? The blade? Oh, like that little cocktail frame with over the mouth. She's the stuff. Oh, yeah, that wrinkly bit on the end. Oh, no, he's through. And the show. What? Sorry? Just tell us about the show. Which one? This one that we're watching now. Well, that was this comedy sketch. Yeah? And... <laughs> yes, and it's um, supposed to be a uh, Crystal Harrington thing out from uh, Dynasty. And, yes, a okay, Dynasty. Yeah. I've done that sketch also as Patsy and Medina from... Um, Ad Fab. Ad Fab. No, what year would have this been? Oh, mid 80s, I suppose. Mid 80s. Oh, early 80s, yeah. yeah. Do, is this sort of stuff missing from Oxford Street now? Sorry? Is this sort of comedy and, and, and shows missing from Oxford Street nowadays? Well, they don't have shows like this in Oxford Street. So. Should, should we bring them back? Well, I think we should. Oh, It'd be nice. Yeah, I think so too. Who, who, girls out on the Oxford Street at the moment, who would be one of your favourites to do stuff like this? Oh, I don't know. Good scratch to me. Do you on have Oxford any... Street, the girls from Oxford Street. Yeah. Who, who's, who's your favourite queen on, on Oxford Street at the moment? You know, oh, just... Dear, she, this one wants to be nice. She, thinks, she wants to be, be stuffed and mounted like she will be. <laughs> she loves being stuffed and mounted. Well, you know, um, that's just a Saturday night, really. I don't know, there's heaps, isn't there? People like Manity Fair, and, you know. You'd have to have glamorous queens, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That rules half of them out, just saying. True. <laughs> uh, good fun. Well, it certainly looked like fun. Um, and yeah, I'd, it'd be awesome to have. Oh, yeah, so, that, that's right. It's the punchline, so. That's oh, I missed the punchline. Yeah, what yeah. was the punchline? I'm not telling you. Come on, tell us. <laughs> she goes over and then she. Uh, we say see you next morning. We we just discuss that whose husband's the best. I'll we'll have a competition. Well, I'll see you next morning, and then it says next morning, next morning. Cabot comes out and says, oh, you know, I walked in and you know he threw me on the bed. And that's one. She marked it on the blackboard one, and then oh, he threw me on the lounge room floor, all the flotaki rug, and the boom, that's two, and then number three, the third one. Let's see if the old bitch can beat that. And I walk out all dishevelled and, you know, to do And go to the board and say, 111, the bitch, you beat me by one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But it took 20 minutes to get to that one. Yeah. You know, yeah. The sketch. There's some other good punchlines in there as well. Uh, and all that did pun most of it, too. Really? Yeah, so say, because you said let's stick to the script, but obviously... But that, well, there was no script. There was no script? There was just certain points you had to get to, to yeah. Okay, it's a bit like us. We try and yeah, do a script. Yeah, it's just yeah. bullshit. Though. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I think, I think we're all pretty... We're good at that? We, we, we do that well. Yeah, we, we do. We, we, do. Have, we have like a run sheet. We never stick to it. We don't. We, we don't. We finish at 10, we finish at like 11. Oh, whatever. Yeah. But we always start on time. I believe so, don't yeah. yeah. Very true. Uh, now, obviously Carlotta's got the movie out, you know, yeah. sort of gives a bit of a glimpse back to what Lay Girls is about. Have you ever thought about maybe writing a book or something like that to sort of relive Lay, uh, Lay Girls and bring it back to life, you know, for, for our era now? Or is it best to, you know, it's the good old times and, you know, you're lucky enough to be there and experience it um, and sort of leave it, leave it back there as a legendary thing? I'd like to bring out a book, I think. Yeah. Um, the pricks I've known and the seas they turned out to be. Um, 
I'm allowed to say that off. Oh, you can say that. Oh, oh, we're not going to Foxtel. We're not. Uh, face, Facebook, isn't it? Oh, it's not that big. That's, you, can, you can say whatever you want to say Facebook. Oh, can I? Yeah. Oh, well, the quick site known in the cunts they turned out to be. There we go. Um, <laughs> yes, and I've known a few of those. But no, actually, there's a queen called Holly Brown who wasn't in late. Well, she was at the very beginning um, in the 60s, early 60s. Um, and she was going to bring a book out, title that. But she died. Good title, don't you think? It's a great title. It's a title. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she likes it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost fingering us all over the time. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs>